guess where we are now. This is where you should not live or post or have kids. The hillbilly hills, baby. <laughs> We're going to a boarding event and people are paying to park in other people's backyards. I don't know. Does I don't go to games a lot, but does this happen in LA where people just like use their houses? I mean, you got to make money somehow out here. Park in my backyard. Uh, Veronica, you were talking about how soccer guys' asses are better than baseball guys' asses. It doesn't make sense to me. Baseball's all upper body, isn't it's it? the shorts. It's not really the ass. Soccer players in general are like hot. So Soli took us to downtown Nashville. It's literally like Vegas. In case you didn't know, now you know. Downtown Nashville. We're shoving off. Money music. Solly and Lauren have been working on new music for like, over a year. I never loved you. And this is one of their songs for their new album. It's original, but it doesn't really sound like anything else, which is so dope, right? They're trying to find who you are, a sound stamp of what, how you are, like ATL R&B and like ATL rock and roll, like smashing that together, mm -hmm. figuring that out. It takes a minute to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. But you guys have like a very unique style and even how you dress, certain people can't get to a place of like authenticity and originality because they don't yes. really have it even in them, you know? You guys have it, so you can you, fucking hear it. I mean, I would like sample off the records and stuff. Like, I can't scratch. Like, I, mean, I would DJ party. Yeah, you, know, you can like make vinyl. Like, I don't know how to like do. Yeah, all I used to have like little white uh, paint pens yeah. mark yeah, the, yeah, the records where the uh, different sounds were. I had sample vinyl with different oh, shh, different sounds on them, and then for each song and shit. Yeah. Steven. Yeah. Steven. 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 I had to find the same sample, the bank on the keyboard, all on like Oxycontin and uh, Xanax and alcohol. Never sober. And I also had a, a, a fucking uh, chaos pad I, I operated with my foot because I would be scratching, so I'll be using both hands. Okay. Yeah. Would that turn it on or would you like. I, I would hover my toe. No. Yeah. Like with a sock on or just your bare foot? Both my bare foot. <laughs> I love that. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> you know what? That's <laughs> kind of like the coolest thing. Now saying it back, I'm realizing one of the coolest things I've ever done. But I feel like that would be like an insane part of the show where you're just like, all right, let's hear from the DJ. <laughs> Religion is so painful. You guys cut the shame out. Bro. Oh my god, I did one mushroom last night, so I have to go tell my sober friends and I have to have a meeting. We have to do an intervention. I'm like, maybe you just had a good time. Like, oh, no, no, no. If you're a real alcoholic, if you're a real drug addict like I am, I absolutely can't. Like for the rest of your life, you can't do no, anything no. for the rest of your life. It, it, it triggers the obsession. He's like, well, now I'm a carbohydrate addict. Yes. Are we going to be excessive about yes. everything? Yes, he is. But that is not a way to live. That's, that's the way I'm wired. But you don't wreck your life with drugs and alcohol. I do. That I'm willing to throw my whole life away I over it. Lost everything over yeah. it. Everything. Nothing's more important than that feeling. Yeah. yeah. That's the difference, right? But you know what I'm saying? But like you never had a point like, this is too far, like I shouldn't do this. Yeah, I do. I do think that, but I can't stop. We cannot you stop. It's misery. It's just there. there's no fun. It goes from like a brief second of fun to just like miserable 
and they can't get out of the miserable. They can't say, hey, this is miserable. I'll just stop. Like, this is hurting me. We're trying to bridge the gap between like sober people and normal people. Like we yeah. can coexist. So I feel like we're all kind of the same. Um, yeah, except for the part where as soon as I put drugs and alcohol into my body, I have an allergic reaction. And then when I don't have them, I have an obsessive mind and all I do is think about them yeah. okay. because of that allergic reaction. Like, I feel like sober culture is punishing and shameful like religion. That's what I'm saying. We grew up mad religious and it was like there was you couldn't try any. You're going to hell if you do. Any yeah, that stuff. We're trying to be like open to the fact where it's like there are drugs out there. If you're gonna do them, please do them in front of us. So right, we, can, right. we can like control the situation. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Are a lot of your friends doing that stuff? They're smoking boys, marijuana. Is- yeah. So all your friends are already doing all the shit you just talked about. Oh yeah. Right. Not saying it. So. Right. Look, there's a saying in AA. Look, you might have another run in you, but you might not have another sober in you. Meaning, people go out and they die. It's like we die. It's so yeah, people fucking die, dude. You know, so we can't, we have to be careful not to minimize it. It is yeah, that serious. That's our friend Jason in Victoria's house from Elephant Heart in Nashville. I guess all the biggest songwriters in the world move here. Oh, they're getting weird. 